So hello everyone, it is a good afternoon already. And uh, I like to speak about Nadine who is, as it was said, a bit further at the end. So you can go and talk to her. So in fact, uh, Nadine was uh, created uh, in uh, Singapore. It's uh, a, a robot done by Kokoro. And uh, we have worked a lot of research. It's an academic robot. It's a platform to develop a lot of methods and algorithms. And uh, we have published everywhere. It has given uh, ways to many PhDs in Singapore. And uh, in fact, uh, Nadine came to Switzerland at University of Geneva two years ago. We were stuck for one year in COVID, but now it's fully going on again. So we have implemented the ChatGPT3 and other things. Okay, so if we continue, uh, I would like to present to you three main applications. Of course, Nadine uh, is not a commercial robot, it's more a platform, software platform, where we develop new methods. And these new methods we publish in high uh, impact journals. Then uh, we put also Nadine in different places, like here, and people can test and see how it works. And here you can see uh, three main places where Nadine has been. Uh, one is for education purpose in Singapore at the Art Science Museum. The other one is a partnership with AIA insurance company, which is a very important company in Singapore. And the third one is also in an elderly home. Okay, so here you see some, I don't have the time to show, but she has been in many fairs. And for example, she was in Nadine Deutsche Bank. Uh, you know, it's also a way how to let people be aware of the capability of robots. So this is an example here. And uh, here uh, it is quite a challenge because Nadine is a multi-purpose robot. So we are ready to have collaboration with all kinds of people being in law for the good sake or for politicians. And Prime Minister Modi came to Singapore to visit the university and look for further collaboration. And it was quite, he was quite impressed with Nadine who spoke uh, without ChatGPT at the time because it was uh, 2018. Uh, he spoke uh, with her freely in Hindi. So this is uh, what television said after his visit. So we need the sound. Back schedule uh, of his visit to Singapore. The Prime Minister there interacting with the robot. Is that the robot? Yes, it is the robot at the Nanyang uh, Technical University. It's quite an interesting experience for the Prime Minister as well, who has uh, already met with the country's top officials, including the Singaporean President and also his Singaporean counterpart, Lee sign Lung and uh, what's expected is a number of memorandum of understandings being signed between the two leaders of Singapore and India. These are the live shots uh, that we are getting of the Prime Minister interacting with the robot and a very enriching exciting experience. The Prime Minister would come back with uh, a lot of uh, experiences to share as well and as I said he's going to be delivering the keynote address of the Shangri-La Dialogue Okay, I will move to the next one. For this one was a, a visit to Nadine at the Art Science Museum as a key uh, feature of this ex special exhibition during six months. And she has seen more than 1,000 people interacting with her and uh, con uh, have conversations. So here uh, it is in Singapore, Art Science Museum is a main place where uh, she met quite a lot of people. Next to that, we can see a small image. Uh, we had a robotic lab where people could start to build robots because in parallel to that, we were uh, building new hands. It has been published uh, uh, everywhere. New articulated human style hands and people, particularly young people, could uh, work on this uh, laboratory next to the exhibition. So let's have a look at the demo at the exhibition in Singapore. What is your nationality? <clears throat> I do not have any nationality. I am a global person. Do you have feelings? 
I am programmed to simulate a full range of human emotions. What is the weather today? There will be scattered thunderstorms in downtown court today with a forecast high of 86 and a low of 78. It's currently 83 and mostly cloudy. Thank you for the conversation. It's been a pleasure to be in your company. Bye-bye then. See you later, my friend. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Okay, so what can Nadine do? The question is, where can we use such robots? So as you can see, she has an ordinary face. I mean, we were very eager to make a robot looking like everybody, at least female face. And uh, what we tested with her is to be able to make, uh, like, uh, you know, she can be at banks, insurance, as receptionist, for example, when people don't have any. So here you can see uh, she is able to check appointment, to uh, send mails, uh, go on Twitter, and so on, make introduction, give the news, give the weather and recommendation for restaurants, and so on. So, for example, in some places where there is nobody, then you can have some... Uh, such robot to help you to welcome people and also remember who was there, who will come, announce to the person. So this is truly a work for receptionists where we have nobody. Now, uh, in the insurance company with AIA, where she has been working six months again, uh, she was informing customers what to do in terms of if they like to have a new policy. And it was between 11 and 2 o'clock when a lot of people have um, many requests. It was the uh, eating time and the employees like to go out. So in this case, Nadine was along with uh, other people working and she could work and the satisfaction was very great from both sides. I just show you an example of Nadine in AI insurance company working as a administrative agent. And all that gives ways to researchers to publish articles that are available for everybody. So we have a high number of cited, uh, cited papers that all the researchers and also all the companies can benefit from our research. I will give uh, a an, an small information about when Nadine went to the elderly home in Singapore. So uh, here it's a home where she came and she could play bingo and she could also uh, propose any uh, songs that people like. She was remembering uh, the facts and emotion of 12 residents who agree fully with the family to be part of this study. So. That was a real great success. All the information is published, as you can see here. I just show you, this was a setting in Singapore. And uh, here, uh, we, it was Evergreen House in Singapore, Bright Hill. And people could really interact freely. If they feel alone, they go to Nadine and could discuss and tell the stories. And we have developed memory process in order Nadine remember and could have more a personalized interaction.
So here is the film a bit to give you an impression how it works and how it went. And the Singapore government uh, gave, after this study, 18 million, one eight, to develop this kind of application in all the elderly homes. The next number is 26. Make Girls, how old are you? I got to do, to do. Do you like me? I love you very much. Jenny, how many brothers and sisters you have? I have three brothers and five sisters. They're lucky to have a sibling like you. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing now? Nadine has been moved to Geneva in Switzerland and a new team has taken up. Maher Ben Moussa is the person who has, he's just behind, has taken her and has implemented ChatGPT, so we changed the mo language model, she's more able to answer more questions. But of course, we continue our research. What is the research that needed is needed for a robot? First of all is the awareness of the scene. You have no robot who is able to say, I stand here, I see a lot of people, they are doing this, they have this pose, and so on. So it's quite a lot of research to be done, and we are going in this direction with new PhD students and new people. So to finish my presentation, Nadine will sing a song for you. In fact, it's an Adil, Adil song. time to visit Nadine on the other side of the hall here and thank you so much for your attention thank you